Hi guys. Hi everyone. So today we are trying out this amazing fire pit. It's from Solo Stove. So we're going to give this a really good going. Uh, we've got marshmallows. We've got our Kadak Safari Chef 2 to see whether it fits inside it. We've got wood. We've got... <laughs> That's important. We've got wood. And apparently. the all-important <laughs> ability to start a fire yeah, as well. So we're so going to do all of that. We're all good. We're going to do all of that. Um, and we'll talk you all through the bits and bobs that it's got and everything. But first of all, we'll show you an unboxing because everyone loves an unboxing. Oh, so yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Right then, everyone, let's have a go at unboxing this solo stove. So this is the Solo Stove Ranger 2.0. Uh, this particular one has come with a stand as well. So let's get into it. Let's see what we've got. So, uh, really nicely packaged up. Lots of uh, polystyrene and stuff. So we've got how to use your fire pit, QR code so you can have a look at the uh, safety information. Then we've got the flame ring uh, and apparent. So that, that's got delivered upside down. You have to turn it around that way, I think, uh, once we get the actual unit out itself. So pop that down there. Uh, we've got a nice looking cover, so let's have a quick look at that. So this is obviously going to be handy when we have it in the van. So it's, it's actually a really nice quality, decent kind of material in there as well. Uh, doesn't feel like it's going to rip or break or anything like that. Uh, good, good drawstring on it as well, like that. Oh, and I think you get, yeah, you get stickers too. Stickers. Nice. Uh, and a couple of carrying handles on it too, so that's good. Uh, right, what have we got in here then? So, again, nicely, nicely packaged in here. Now we've got the stand. So that's, that's the actual stand that you put this on. This means that you can use it on grass, you can use it on... Uh, anywhere where you wouldn't want it to sit flat down onto the surface and potentially uh, burn a hole or damage anything. So let's just oh, get this open. Uh, more stickers, like that. Uh, it seems to be a trend these days. Uh, really nice kind of um, printed into the metal, kind of stamped in Solo Stove logo there. I'll tell you what, the quality of this just feels fantastic. All the rolled edges are really nice. You can see where they've welded it here really filed it off nicely beautiful quality so that's the stand that it's going to sit on uh, in here then we've also got uh, this looks like the grate just open this up oh. yeah really heavy duty that that steel on there is really thick gauge um, which is important because obviously this takes all the heat uh, and if you're uh, putting loads of um, burning coals or uh, burning wood and stuff on there you want it to last a long time and this certainly feels like it would do and it's got a couple of finger holes look so you can pull it out obviously not when it's hot right pop that down there and then we've got an i think this is the ash tray yes it is again really same quality uh, as the uh, uh, the grate which sits on top, so really, really decent quality. And again, stamped in a little flame logo on the bottom there. And then last but not least, ooh, here we go. So this is the actual fire pit itself. Uh, quite a big one, this one. Uh, they do all sorts of sizes. They do ones which are even bigger than this, um, but uh, they also do little tabletop ones which look quite cool too. So. Uh, this is a kind of a middle of the road one and I think the thing with this which I'm keen to have a look at is if we were taking this in the van can you fit a Kadak Safari Chef in the middle of it because we take the Safari Chef with us anyway generally speaking um, can you double this up so you're not taking up just space just for this solo stove so we'll give that a go in a bit uh, but uh, you can see in terms of the design it's got this kind of double wall and I think that's the bit which is special about this which makes it a bit more smokeless because uh, you can see it's also got holes around the bottom as well to help the combustion so let's uh, get rid of all of this that's everything in the box so 
uh, you'd effectively have your stove stove stand. You'd put this on it like that. Oh, it's got a little ridge under the bottom as well, so it fits on there nicely. Then you put your ashtray in. Sits in the bottom, then you've got your Great, it sits on top, and then that sits like that. Uh, so you, it's nice and easy to be able to build the uh, fire inside, fire lighters or starters, bit of kindling, and then as it starts to go, you can then obviously put your logs and everything in. So, right, let's just pop this in the bag then, and then we hopefully should be about ready to go and give it a try. That's quite handy as well, that. I should have just said that. That fits nicely in there. That turns that way around. So hopefully, popping this in the bag should be a piece of cake. Not so difficult. There you go. Bob's your uncle. So then, we have got this solo stove. We're going to give it a quick go now and see whether we can yep. fit the Safari Chef 2 inside it. Yep. Um, this is really important for uh, those of you who might already have a Safari Chef 2 and you're thinking, I don't really don't want to carry too much more stuff in the van and all that kind of thing. So if you're thinking about taking one of these in a van, I think this is potentially, haven't tried this yet, so it's the first time, I think this could be a killer hidden feature of this. Just grab that bag off. Unbag. There we go. There we go. Right. Bag out the way. So you'll have already seen this in the unboxing, so I'm not going to walk through all of the different bits and bobs in here. Ooh, need to remember to put it on its stand. We do need to remember to put it on its stand, yeah. otherwise the next door neighbour's little rug thing yeah. just <laughs> might uh, might not make it. Right, we'll talk through the dimensions of this in a few minutes. But, um, so we've got our Safari Chef 2 uh, gas barbecue. Uh, admittedly, I haven't got a bottle in the side of it here. But we thought it'd be interesting to see whether this <gasps> fits inside. Ta-da! Now, admittedly, you can't put that the normal way up that you would if you were trying to store it, but it will just sit. Yeah, and the bag's look. got quite a bit of space in it, it hasn't it? It's easy fit in the bag. Mm. So if you're already carrying around a Safari Chef, Safari, sure, sure, chef. Safari chef 2 in your van, mm. you can fit yeah. it inside the I think ranger. the only thing that you're obviously going to have to make sure of is you'll be putting it back into a dirty fire pit. Yeah, make so, sure it's clean. Well, you're either going to want to really clean your fire pit or stick your Safari Chef 2 in a black bag or yeah. something before yeah. you pop it in uh, there just to keep everything fairly nice and clean. But uh, absolutely. good space saving. Good space Ooh. saving. Right, should we talk about dimensions then? Yep. Let's talk about what this actually is. And I made myself a little notebook to get this absolutely oh, right. Oh, organised. Really today. prepared this time. <laughs> so this is a Solo Stove Ranger with stand 2.0. Yep. That's the model it is. Uh, it weighs 6.8 kilos, okay. um, so it's not not light, but it's not like super heavy either. It's easy yeah. easy to pick you up. You can carry it. Yeah, you can carry it. Uh, this is a 15 inch diameter solo stove, which is 38 centimeters. Gives you a sense of size. 12 and a half inches high, 32 centimeters, something like that. So kind of gives you a so just over overall a foot sense. as a cube. Yep. What do you think? Um, it's made out of 304 and 430 stainless. Nice. Really good quality. It does feel lovely quality. It, it, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and it's got, you've probably seen these holes around the bottom. Well, those, and in the top here. Um, what those, do they do, Will? Those are for secondary burn. Oh, secondary combustion. Yeah, everyone loves a secondary Ooh, burn. We do. I like to think about it as afterburn because it just makes... He's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> so who wouldn't want a fire pit which has got which afterburners? Which has got afterburn. <laughs> afterburners. It better be good. <laughs> um, but the reason they've fitted afterburn, it's not second burn, it's not afterburn, it's secondary burn. <laughs> makes you think its flame's going to be up here. <laughs> better not the be. The I reason, like my eyebrows. <laughs> the reason it's got this secondary burn thing is to try to cut down on the amount of smoke 
Okay, and well, that, that's a good thing. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I'm sure we've all had before. Yeah. You, you have a fire pit, an you open fire or whatever. You stand around your brazier or whatever and you, you die of smoke inhalation. Get, well, and it's you? the morning after when you put your clothes on or you, you at least go near your clothes, you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, that's... We had a fire last Smoky. Yeah. Well, when we did the barbecue test video... Yeah, we... The, we did it with the side of the van door open and it, yeah what a mistake to make very amateurish lots of febreze was purchased yeah. after that so it was it was bad <laughs> really bad so i am looking forward to see how we smell in the morning after this <laughs> <laughs> um, the video you'll be pleased to know does not come with a smellometer the smellometer smell a vision yeah. smell a vision yeah um now the only other thing just to mention in terms of what this um pack includes obviously i mentioned it comes with a stand the stand's really important because if you don't have the stand i'm not going to pick it up and show you but if you don't have the stand then it then the bottom of the fire pit will sit flat on the ground and could end up burning whatever it's on or at least scorching it well particularly as we're in a wood built little yeah, yeah. nice little place so yeah, yeah don't um, really want to with burn a it down. kind of nylony carpet yep. on the floor so if um, you're on a campsite in the woodland with grass or anything like that really important but and it stops is, trying to put it on bricks as well which is a bonus yeah and it's perfectly okay and obviously the stand goes inside it and everything so they've thought of that yeah uh, probably the only other thing to say about it as well is you can get different accessories for this uh, like a lid which goes over so if you've used it and you want to just um, close it up so the wind doesn't blow all the ash everywhere and then yeah, you buy a lid idea. for it you can buy a little kind of stand which goes on the top which then you can have a hot plate on if you want oh. to cook food and that kind of thing so if you didn't want to bother with the kadak yeah, idea I mean, or the other barbecue idea you, you basically kind of, buy a pit that you can turn kind, into kind a of turn barbecue. It into a barbecue yeah so yeah, yeah nice. really really universal yeah. basically and obviously we're not using it in a van today we're using it in outside. our next door neighbor's entertaining space outside. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, here it is. Uh, I think it's time. It's time to start a fire because I'm getting cold. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a little chilly out here, I must admit. Now, we're conscious that this might take a few minutes in terms of prepping it and doing all of this stuff. We'll talk you through the first stages in terms of how we're laying it out and everything to get the fire going. Yeah. But then as it starts to catch and everything else, we'll put a bit of time lapse video in. Uh, just so you don't have to sit here and just right, li listen to us just chat but amongst I think ourselves. it's important though that we tell you then how long it's taken yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So we will time it as to we'll, once, we'll. once we light it with the kindling and all those bits to actually get into the point where we're putting a log on it and we've got a decent fire going. Exactly right. Cool. Okay. Pass, Alrighty, pass let's the kindling. go. So we've got Ooh. some normal kindling here. Kindling. Um, which you can bet your life we probably can't open now. <laughs> right then. So you probably see Sarah's got her iPhone out just so we can show you how we're laying this out in here. Now, I've cheated a little bit because I have watched a video about how to do this. That doesn't mean I'm going to get it right, though. <laughs> so <laughs> it says words. you have to create a bit of a kind of nest inside like this. Then you get your fire lighter -y things, you put them near, kind of underneath and around. You put the fire lighters under. Okay. Yeah. And then you build a little bit of a... I remember doing this from when we had a log burner to our old yeah. house. That's right. And you're just supposed to build up a little bit of a... Oh, seems, <laughs> seems a shame to set like fire to this. It. Yeah, I'm trying. So we'll do that. Maybe should we have a couple of little ones for good luck. And then I just need the uh, fire stick, fire, fire stick, fire stick. Definitely lighter. doesn't come from Definitely Amazon. a lighter. And it is really windy today. Um, so hopefully this is going to catch. Here we go. Mm, yeah. Just get these to start. OK, there we go. Right. So um, what move we've the used, fire lighters out of the way. If you're wondering what we've just used, obviously bag of normal kindling softwood. Um, we've used a, a couple of flamers, they're called flamers, and they're just basically rolled up bits of very, very thin wood, which have got wax on them as well, which just helps them burn a little bit longer, but it's specifically designed to bit, do Yeah, a bit nicer than this. using uh, the kind of chemical That's sort of right. brick things. That's right. So you can probably see we've got um, those fire lighters just starting to go. They're just starting to catch on the kindling that we've got in there and then hopefully and I have to say there's not really any smoke coming out of it yeah 
Uh, so maybe the afterburners are kicking in already. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it, Will. I doubt it. Right. So we'll let this, let this burn for a bit. And then hopefully, because we have the hardcore stuff here, we've got some logs that we're going to try in it just to make sure we can really get it going. They're hardwood logs, aren't they? Hardwood logs. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Even though it's not really doing a huge amount yet, because it's just starting. There's definitely some warmth coming off it, isn't there's, there? There's some warmth, and it is a little bit cold today, so I'm quite quite pleased about that, really. Mm. Right, let's give it a few minutes then. Okay. Right, well, I think... There's a little bit of warmth coming off there's it. There's a little bit of warmth. It's going quite nice. Yeah, there's some good charred-looking bits of kindling in there, so I think. Shall we give a small log a go? Are you going to throw on the first log? No, no, no. Go for it. Is that, is that because you, you're... I'm going to end up singeing the hand, like the hairs on the back of my hand. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, let's... Uh, it looks perfectly fine. Chuck that in. Woo! A few sparky bits. Yeah. It's so looking definitely good. no smoke. Definitely no smoke. And although it's spitting a bit, because I think that um, I think the kindling's, kindling's a, bit... a little bit damp. Uh, and you can obviously see the odd little tiny bit of ember coming out. It's actually really well contained in there. Mm. It smells lovely. It does. I wish you had smell-o-vision now. Yeah. It has got a lovely smell mm. to it. And as this, uh, I presume this is oak or something, isn't it? I can't remember what it was. Yeah. We bought it when we were on a campsite a little while back. Yeah, some of these uh, logs. I'm sure it's probably just uh, probably just oak. Yeah. Uh, that's going to have a really good smell to it too. So, uh, yeah, I tell you what, while that's doing that, let's pop another one on and then we can leave it for a bit, can't we? Just to we can. sit there and sort itself out. Right. There we go. It's got a nice bit of bark on that one. Pop that in there. Right. Hopefully I won't put it out. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, I mean, these aren't small logs. No. You really can... I, I think that was uh, the really only thing I was worried about with going with this slightly smaller one. So their normal one is the bonfire, um, which not quite as portable as this and obviously a little bit bigger. But they, they say on their website that that one's obviously absolutely designed to take pretty much any yeah. log that you'll... Find yourself, find yourself with so yeah it's probably yeah. important to say that isn't it so there's the bonfire which is slightly bigger yeah and then there's the i know there's one called the yukon the yukon. which is enormous that's like a it's about it's about that's, two foot wide or yeah, something on that one it's about real, 60 centimeters diameter it's so a real big boy that not one not particularly portable at all but it's designed for you to have on your deck or something but they also know. do tabletop ones as well they do a little meter. little little tiny ones so uh, that's pretty cool yeah so in terms of cost it's important. It um, is. You've got to bear in mind this is a really quality item. So it's not cheap, cheap, but I don't think it's too bad either for the quality of engineering that's gone into this. So these are on the website at the moment at the time of recording. So, so we're in December 2023 currently. December 23. Uh, 194.99, I think it I is. I think it was something like that. Um, it was just think, under 200. Yeah, so it's just on sale at the minute, but uh, retail price 244, I think it is. Yeah. Something along those lines. And that's yeah. for this exact one. So that's the Ranger with the stand. Yeah. They do other kits for it as well. So you can have the Ranger with the stand, with the lid. They also do an outdoor cover. So you can leave it on your deck or leave it outside yeah. permanently. Uh, obviously, this comes with the bag and everything for that price mm. uh, that I said too. Um, but really, it's a, it's a really good quality item. And as soon as you take it out of the box, as soon as you hold on to the various bits that it's made up from, you think, wow, this has got... A, a weightiness to it and it this, feels just and the bits nice. of metal are actually really nicely finished yeah, and rounded no sharp off edges and or anything weird or wonderful yeah, like that it's it's a beautiful piece of kit it is yeah it is right um so we need to leave this for a little bit longer but when you see us again <laughs> we raided the american isle <laughs> We've been to the American Isle at Morrison's and we have got some monster marshmallows, haven't we? We have. Why waste the fire? So we're going to end up dropping marshmallows into our lovely fire pit that we've just been telling you about how beautifully crafted it is and it's going up with sticky nasty and stuck in the never, bottom of it. Never. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's crack on then. Okay. Right, I think it's time. I'm still a little sceptical around fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird voodoo thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like this could kill me, burn down things cause really bad things to happen but it looks so pretty <laughs> we should probably say we are sensible people and we have got a big bucket of water just outside of the shot yes so don't worry 
If it goes terribly wrong, this isn't going to end up on you've been framed. Well, it would do. Well, it would do, but, but then it'd end it'd in be a. By me rushing off camera and then dousing it in yes. water. Oh my God, they're enormous. Look at that. This is going to end badly. That, that is. This is going to end up with liquid I, sugar. I think I'm going to go all the way through. I don't want to set fire to the sticks. Did you pre soak the sticks? No. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh. Mmm. Oh, it's like molten sugar. Well, it is molten sugar, Will. Oh, man. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. I'm Obviously, worried that do... the camera's oh. going to blow oh. over at this rate. <laughs> it's Blow very, in it. very windy today. I've singed the end of my stick. <laughs> I'm slightly nervous about trying this. Mine's nicely warm. Mmm. That's all right, that. Yeah, that's done okay. Obviously, don't touch this rim. Oh, your beauty, that caught it, look. Oh, you Very got Very caramelised. You got one there. Oh, look at that. I think I'm better not putting the stick all the way through it. Oh, that's grim, Will. <laughs> right. So. It's a winner. In conclusion. Oh. <laughs> in conclusion. We really like this. Good bit of kit. It's a really good bit of kit. In terms of cleaning, obviously, it needs to be cold. Um, you can take the grates out. There's an ashtray which sits underneath, which you saw in the unboxing. And you simply clean that out. We bought a brush uh, like that, nice and easy, just to be able to sweep it out if there's anything else left inside. Job done, pop it away. So, great option. Uh, I think the fact that it's not that much bigger than a Safari Chef 2 and you can store that inside it makes it a winner. I was skeptical. Nice and safe, you're not going to tip it over. Sarah's been after one of these for ages and I was really sceptical because I was thinking it's going to take up lots of space in the van, it's just another thing to take. Yada yada yada, don't like outside, don't like being cold. I don't really uh, like sitting outside either to be <laughs> honest when it's cold and everything else. This is, this is good. I think I'm sold. Uh, hey! Right, on that bombshell that I might like <laughs> right, sitting what? outside in the future, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to eat some more marshmallows, probably have a massive sugar crash a bit later on. Yeah. Hopefully not into the fire pit whilst it's still alive. Wait for this to burn itself out and then we can clean it up and put it yeah. away. But cool. thanks very much for watching. Hopefully yeah. uh, this has been helpful in terms of understanding what a solo stove is, how to light a fire, informational video. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below. Is this the kind of thing that you fancy? Mm. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you again soon for some more. Bum, Camper bum, bum time. time. <laughs>